हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सेज दैट डिटर्मिन द टेंशन इन द केबल एंड द हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द रिएक्शन ऑफ द पिन एच ए द पुली एच डी इज फ्रिक्शन लेस एंड द सिलेंडर वेव्स एटी पाउंडस सो नाउ वी हैव दिस बीम which is lifting this weight and this weight is 80 pounds with the help of this rope so if i draw if you want to consider the free body diagram so at a we will have the support reactions since here we have the pin joint so at pin joint we need to have two supports so let's say this is uh, ax and here we will have let's say ay and to consider the free body diagram we need to cut this uh, cable so let me cut this cable so if we cut this cable we will have tension since uh, this rope is continuous so the all of this rope will have the one tension the same tension so let's say that we have the tension t here we will have this tension t and here we will have that same tension t so we need to find this tension t value and we need to find ax and ay and if we cut this rope let's say if we cut this rope so this rope will have tension and that tension will be equal to the weight of this cylinder so here we will have let's see t1 and here we will have t1 and here we will have the weight which is 80 pounds so if we apply the summation of forces along y to the cylinder let me write that for the cylinder to be in equilibrium the summation of forces along y that must be equals to 0 so this is our positive y direction in the upward direction so t1 is acting in the upward direction and the weight is acting in the downward direction this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that t1 is equal to 80 pounds so this from this we can say that the tension in this rope is t1 which is equal to the weight of the cylinder so now uh, let me consider that ac beam here so here we will have the ax reaction which is required to be determined this is ax here we will have ay as well at b we will have the tension let's see somewhere here is the tension which is acting vertically upward this is that point b and this is that t and here we will have that tension t which is making some angle this is that same tension t which is making some angle theta here let's say that this angle is theta so this angle is theta and this theta is given in the form of this small triangle this right angle triangle so this theta this theta and the angle in this triangle they they will remain the same so let me draw the triangle a little bit large in size this is 2 this is 1 and this is the theta so the hypotenuse of this triangle can be determined by using the pythagoras theorem so this is the hypotenuse so we can say that by using the pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse is h let's say so this will be h square equals to 2 square plus 1 square and if you want to find h we have to take the square root on both sides so h comes out to be square root 5 so let me write it the hypotenuse of this small triangle is square root 5 so now if the rope is making angle theta here so we will have that same angle theta here in the free body diagram let me show that angle here and now if i resolve this t into its components so we will have two components we will have one component in this direction this one will be the cos component since the angle is made with this component and here we will have one another component this one will be the sine component so this one will be t sine of theta and this this component this will be cos component so let me write that this is t cos of theta and this this point is this is point c this end is point c and this end is this is point a and let's say this point is point d so at c we will have the uh, tension in the rope equal to the weight this is the this is equal to 80 pounds so now to find this t if i apply the summation of moment about point a since we do not know ax and ay 
and we do not know this t value so we have to find this t value first so in order to find this t value the, the this uh, horizontal beam is in equilibrium and we have to apply the summation of moment about point a so the summation of moment about point a this must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so a x and a y they are not going to produce the moment about point a so they will not come into our equation then as we can see that this t is producing the counterclockwise moment so i will write plus t and the perpendicular distance of this t from that point a is five feet so we have to multiply this with five this five feet is its moment arm this is five so this is this t is at a distance of five feet so i have to multiply this t with five so this is the moment produced by this t in the counterclockwise direction so we have plus sign here now this cost component is passing through that point a so it's not going to produce the moment about that point a and this sign company is again producing the counterclockwise moment about point a so i'll write plus t sine of theta and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this sine component from that point b is this distance this distance which is 10 feet this is 5 plus 5 so this is 10 feet so we will multiply this sine component with 10 and this 80 pound force tension is producing the clockwise moment about point a so i will write minus for the clockwise 80 and the perpendicular distance of this 80 pound force from that point a is equal to 13 the total length this 5 plus 5 plus 3 so this is 13 so i will multiply this with 13 and this is equal to 0 so now from this triangle we can say that sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so sine of theta is 2 divided by square root 5 so now we can say that this is 5 into t plus t sine of theta is 2 divided by square root 5 into 10 and if i bring this term to the other side of the equation so it will become positive so we will have plus 80 into 13 so now we can find this t if i take t common from both of these terms so we can write it like this we will have t so now we have the equation like this this is this is 5 plus 2 divided by square root 5 into 10 so 5 plus 2 into 10 divided by square root 5 so this gives us this from this brackets we get 13.944 13.944 t equals to 80 into 13 and from this we can say that t is equal to 80 into 13 divided by 13.944 so we can say that this is 80 multiplied by 13 divided by 13.944 so this gives us t equals to 74.584 pounds so the tension in this rope is equal to 74.584 pounds now we are required to find this ax and ay so since this beam is in equilibrium we can apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero so the summation of forces along x this must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive x direction so now as we can see that this ax is acting in the positive x so i will write plus ax and the cost component of this t is acting in the negative x so i will write minus t now t is known let me write that this is t cos of theta this is equal to zero and from this we can say that ax is equal to t cos of theta now t is known which is 74.584 and cos of theta is given in term of this triangle so cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so cos of theta is one divided by square root so ax is equal to let's calculate this this is 74.584 multiplied by 1 divided by square root 5 this gives us 33.355 so this is 
33.355 pounds so this is ax similarly we can apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero as well so the summation of forces along y this must be equals to zero and the upward direction and the upward direction is our positive y direction so now as we can see that we have this a y this is acting in the upward direction so i will write plus a y then we have this t so i will write plus t and t magnitude is 74.584 then we have this sine component of t so again i will write plus 74.584 t sine of theta so t value is 74.584 and sine of theta is 2 divided by square root 5 from this triangle sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so that is 2 divided by square root 5 so 2 divided by square root 5 and then we have this 80 pounds this is acting in the downward direction so i will write minus 80 and this is equal to 0 so now this equation this is the summation of forces along y this will give us a y value so now from this we can say that first of all let me find this sum so we have 74.584 plus 74.584 into 2 divided by square root 5 minus 80 so this a y is we can say that a y is plus 61.294 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that a y is minus 61.294 pounds so the minus sign indicates that the assumed direction f of a y is not accurate we have to reverse the direction so a y is acting in the downward direction actually so the a y magnitude is 61.294 and it is acting in the downward direction so this is the solution of this particular problem the tension in the rope is 74.584 pounds ax is 33.355 pounds and ay is 61.294 in the downward direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do like this video and subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning